We've launched the Stack Store. You can now choose from a curated selection of over 25 local and overseas brands. Visit stackhomes.com slash store now and refresh your home. A house is always a constant creature, if you think about it. You move in and out, there's always dust. You clean the dust and then it comes back. You buy stuff again, you accumulate stuff. Sometimes you get rid of them, so these things constantly change. Hi, I'm Dylan, I'm a lecturer. Hi, I'm Jenny, I'm a UI UX designer. This is a four-room improved unit on Queen's Road. Unit size is about 979 square feet. We spent close to 60k just for renovation. I fell for the charm in its original condition. The idea of playing around with the space planning started and then I thought there's a lot more potential to this house as opposed to what people would argue about its age. This is one of the last few estates that still got commercial units on the second floor. We typically light the atrium that is in the middle of two different blocks. The design process, we started with the idea of a space that we would use the most, not necessarily a style. I think we don't believe in a style. Everything else started to revolve around that space. We want the whole place to look more natural as it is. Throughout the renovation process, there are a lot of things that were quite interesting to us, such as the exposed beams. We retain some of the existing walls. We don't exactly like to demarcate uh, an area for a very specific use. Giving that flexibility to explore and giving the chance to utilize the space was more interesting. So we still don't know what to do with some spaces in some corners of the house. The unit is not on the lift landing, so you need to take the stairs down. As an experience down the stairs, we wanted something to also shield from the sun. We wanted that space to have our plants kept. I think it's just a better environment as to have plants indoors. We started with this big idea of this main gathering space. This gathering space is also a space that we work we do our stuff when friends are here. We sit at the table. Again, this was one of our interpretation of a living space. This space is where everyone gathers and conceptually, it's where the design started. We don't actually practice watching a TV right here because they actually cut some connections in terms of communications. So we do focus on this white table where everyone is just basically communicating, avoiding any technology, any like screens. I think that's what we really want. We do our pottery right at that little area right there. And then right behind we have plants as well, which is indoor plants. That shoe rack was a little commissioned project with a friend because it was a really awkward space. It wouldn't fit any shelf nicely. And I think shoes are not necessarily always hidden. They don't have to be. It took us a long time to make a decision which shelf to buy because we have a lot of books. We want to store them. We made a decision to buy this Vitzo shelf because of its timeless design. Still, it's a shelf that constantly changes. I think if we enjoy a house that is constantly changing, we didn't reroute anything from the kitchen. But what we did was to pack this wall, which is facing an existing room. We wanted this airy and breezy space that we could also visually connect, not only physically connect. When I was cooking, people just drop by, you know, they can help along as well. So that explains why it's an open concept kitchen. We are potters, we make stuff, we collect stuff, we accumulate them. And at some point we have to find a way to store them. We thought of a display shelf. So that's where the display shelf was installed. 
because this was an old HDB flat, so the older units have got two separate toilets, so the WC is separate from the shower. We wanted a more conventional toilet. We had to remove some walls and reconfigure the entire toilet. That was the purpose of this big timber wall that also had the washer and the fridge incorporated. We never wanted doors, I think, because we see the house as one big space for possibilities that we can build. You start demarcating spaces and then you lose that possibility of, of the freedom to configure. The second space that I spend the most time in would be in the storeroom. I think I organise my stuff. The storeroom is where I store things that I don't want to think about. In the bedroom, the wardrobe actually separates the bedroom from the store. So there's no need for us to have a bed frame. I never believe in a bed frame. Basically, it takes up space. That space can be further utilised for a higher ceiling for that matter when you're lying down. Constantly, there's always space and we're trying to fill up the space, whether it fits the room. I think we always need a new change. The house can always be in different dynamic. It shouldn't always be the same. We never settle on things permanently, I think. It's always in a constant editing process. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.